In this video, we'll be completing an acid-base titration sample calculation. 30 milliliters of 1 molar sodium hydroxide solution is required to neutralize 60 milliliters of a HCl solution of unknown concentration. What is the molarity of the acid solution? So you've actually done this type of problem before um, in a previous unit. So notice that we're going to be reacting a base with an acid. And that always makes, of course, salt and water. Now it's important that you balance the equation. Coefficients will be 1, 1, 1, and 1. Now all of the information pertaining to the base will be written in blue, and the information about the acid will be in red. So here's what's going on one more time. We have an unknown concentration of acid. And we're going to be adding base to the acid. That process is called titration. And when we have a neutral solution, we will have known that exactly all of the acid has been consumed by whatever base we added in proportion of 1 to 1. So that means if one mole of acid reacts, one mole of base reacted. So don't forget what these coefficients mean. Now, the question is, what is the molarity of the acid solution? Well, we have an equation. The molarity of the acid is equal to moles of acid divided by liters of acid. So let's plug in what we know. Turns out the only thing we know is the volume of acid. We have 60 milliliters. Don't forget to convert that to liters. Now all we need to know now are the moles of acid that reacted, and we can calculate the molarity. But of course, in order to get moles of acid, that's going to require some additional steps, including some stoichiometry. So we're also going to need this equation for the molarity of base. It's equal to moles over liters. So let's plug in what we know. We know that the base is one molar solution, and we know that we have 30 milliliters of it. So if we know the molarity and we know the volume, well, we can solve for moles. So when we solve for moles, we discover that 0 0.030 moles of sodium hydroxide reacted. So this is how much base reacted. If we know how much base reacted, we can use stoichiometry to figure out how much acid reacted. Now, I know the step here um, seems simple, but it's important. These coefficients are one to one, but if they're not one to one, it's going to drastically change your answer. So, if 0.03 moles of base reacted, that means 0.03 moles of acid also reacted. Now when we know how many moles of acid reacted, we can plug that in. And we can solve for the molarity of the unknown acid solution. It's 0 0.50 molar HCl. So here's the steps. You're going to need the molarity equation for the acid. You'll need the molarity equation for the base. And you'll also need to do a stoichiometry step.